Meta Backend Developer Professional Certificate with almost 45,000 students enrolled. It's one of the most popular backend developer educational program on Coursera. And for a good reason. Because there aren't many comprehensive certificates of this quality that gives you a real chance to land a job upon completion. And that's why I think this one deserves more attention. My name is Daniel and today we will take a deeper dive into Meta's Backend Developer Professional Certificate. I will take a closer look at each course included in this program. You will see what you are expected to learn by the end of each course and the entire certificate. And my coder brothers, I will also link all course related links in the description so you can check them out. Let's start! Why are backend courses and certificates important? You see, in this changing world of website making, knowing how to work with backend code is very important. Companies need skilled people who can make sure their websites work well, are safe and can handle lots of users. So there is a growing need for talented backend developers. Just think about it. There are over a billion websites worldwide right now with new ones popping up every 3 seconds. Do you know what that means for us? The backend developers aren't going to be out of jobs anytime soon. As a junior web developer in the United States, you can earn around $106,000 a year. At the same time, senior level developers earn up to 232k. The problem is, going to university to learn web development means spending lots and lots of money and time. I personally don't see any reason to waste your time on a computer science degree at the university when you have courses like this. And this is exactly why professional certificates are so helpful. Such certificates give you the knowledge necessary to start a career. They don't force you to break the bank. They don't take years to complete. And they are also tagged by top-level professionals and offer legit certification. And it looks like you have everything to win and nothing to lose, right? Meta Backend Developer Certificate Structure Guys, before we move on, I try to make educational content in an entertaining way, make it fun instead of boring. And in return, I just ask to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you like the content I make. That's all. Alright, so let's have a closer look at what this professional certificate's content is like. Meta's Backend Developer Certificate includes 9 courses. You can take them as a separate course or as a part of a program. Just keep in mind that you will only get the Meta Certificate badge once you complete all 9 courses and complete all projects within the certification program. And now let's take a look at all courses in detail. Introduction to Backend Development The first course. This introductory course opens the door to web development. In this course you will discover that web developers do every day and get a basic idea of how the internet works. I want to add that this course is really beginner-friendly. So don't worry if you are a complete beginner. During this course you will also learn how to backend developers build websites and apps that function smoothly and are simple to keep up. Here you will start by learning fundamental web development tools like HTML and CSS and you will have a lot of practice using them. Additionally, you will be introduced to modern user interface frameworks like Bootstrap and React, which make it simple to create interactive and engagement user interfaces. And this course takes 15 hours to complete. The next course programming in Python. Here you will start by learning the basic building blocks of programming using simple Python language rules. As Python is the most popular programming language today, this is a great idea to know how to use it for backend. You will discover how to use code to solve different kinds of problems. You will go deeper into the world of Python and get to know some commonly used parts like modules, libraries and tools. You will also get practical experience working with all objects, classes and methods in Python. You will use variables, data types, ways to control the flow of your code, loops for repeating tasks and functions to organize your code. You will also learn how to spot and deal with mistakes in your code and how to create tests to make sure your Python code works correctly. Following a practice called test-driven development, this course is the biggest one in this certification program and will take around 44 hours to complete. Version control. In this course you will learn about various tools for keeping track of different versions of your work and how to make a good plan for developing software. You will also get to know some of the basic Linux commands that are often used to manage files on your computer. These commands can help you set up efficient ways to get your work done faster and easier. Toward the end you will discover Git, a popular tool that I think every developer should know. You will learn how it can help teamwork on software projects. 
you will set up a special place to keep all your code versions organized and managed. I want to say that this course is pretty short, just 9 hours long. Introduction to databases for backend development. In this course you will start by learning about databases and how they can be used to keep and handle information. You will also figure out the different kinds of systems used to manage databases. After that you will practice doing simple things like making and getting data from databases using a language called CQL. And this course takes 18 hours to complete. Django Web Framework Alright, this module is entirely dedicated to Django, one of the most popular Python-based web frameworks. You will find out how to make a web server and get to build projects and take care of a website. You will also get the chance to make, plan and set up a web application using Django in the best way. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Pew. You will die into using modules in Django and how they connect to databases. And you will also learn how to keep the website safe from problems and common security issues. All this will take 32 hours to complete. The sixth course – APIs. In this course you will learn about the important ideas behind making APIs and the rules of a specific way to build them called REST or representational state transfer. You will make simple APIs and the basic parts that store data for web apps using Django. You will also find out about new ways to make APIs and practice making and using them. At the end you will check make better and create instructions for an API. This course takes 16 hours to complete. The full stack. Guys, in this course you will learn how to use various skills to create a complete Django app. First you will get everything ready for a hands-on project on your computer. Then you will improve both the visible part and the behind-the-scene part of an app that already exists. After that you will use your skills as a full-stack developer to make both the front and back parts or brand new app. This course takes a bit longer to complete. 23 hours. Backend developer capstone. The capstone project lets you show off various skills by solving a real-life problem. You will get to use all your knowledge of building both the front-end and back-end parts of the website by making a Django web app. Each part of the project will remind you of what you have learned in the earlier courses. You will write clear and error-free code to make a Django web server that has different places where other programs can talk to it. You will also make a system that uses templates to show things on the website. And all of this will be connected to a MySQL database. Looks like a pretty complex task for a beginner. And it really is. After all, it's a final project where you should show off your skills. The capstone project should take you not more than 20 hours to complete. Or maybe a bit longer. Coding interview preparation. The last course in the Meta Backend Certificate program will get you ready for a job interview in the coding field. This course will teach you how to solve problems and give you the basic knowledge of computer science that you need to get the job. In the end you will learn valuable strategies and tips for doing well during interviews. There are four modules in this course that take 11 hours to complete. Folks, what I think is also important to know is that each course ends with a practical assessment or project. And in this way you can test what you have learned. And as I always say, the best way to learn is to learn by doing. Once you have completed every course, every assignment project and the capstone project in this certification program, you finally get a reward. A meta certificate. A badge you can add to your social media profile, LinkedIn or resume. What is more, this certificate also opens the door to the meta job board. An exclusive platform where you can find potential employers with some pretty good job offers. So this was a deep dive into courses that make up meta backend developer professional certificate. Guys, I left all course related links in the description down below. Feel free to check them out. That's wonderful, thank you! Don't forget to like this video if you enjoy my content and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching, until next time.